All right, so I'm going to show you how to get games and install them. Basically, the reason why I had you make two folders, they don't have to be called what I told you to call them. They could just be called um, encrypted and decrypted. They could be called download one and download two, as long as you remember what they are. But the reason for this is that when these games are installed or downloaded, they're not usable. They're encrypted. And then when you run the uh, unpacker, it'll make them usable in the decrypted folder. So it'll move them from one to the other, and that's just how it has to be. So make two folders, and then what you'll do is you'll open the app, you set your download directory, and your download directory will be the encrypted one, whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, once that's set, you click OK, and then you'll set an extraction directory, and that'll be your decrypted one, whatever you want to call it. DL-DEC for me. And this is where you put your decrypted uh, information. So yeah, for set download directory, I did ENC, and then for set extraction directory, I did DEC. Select folder, yada yada. So let's just say I want to get Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. So you'll search for the game you want, and then it'll pop up here. Now some games have DLC and updates, some don't have any updates or DLCs. Some have just all three, you know, just like uh, Breath of the Wild has uh, DLC and updates. But whatever it does have, you're going to want to get. You right click on, you'll download game, then you'll right click, um, and you'll click download update. See, I already have it in my queue, so it's just asking if I want to add it again. But you do. And then you'll click this big flashing start downloading button. And bada boom bada bing. It'll start downloading. Now what happens is once this gets to 100% here and this says 100%, you'll right click on it and you'll click unpack load line. Then you'll see some progress bars go by. In fact, I'll show you what it looks like on Mario Galaxy. So like, I already got Mario Galaxy. Look at unpack load line here. See? It's a bar. That's making the game a usable ROM basically. In essence. So then what you'll do is you'll go to your decoded folder. And look, see, here's uh, Breath of the Wild with an update and with the DLC. And it's usually the main game will be something like this. See how Galaxy 2, and this is the second one I accidentally extracted. I already did it once before, so. This is the main game for Mario Galaxy 2. There's no DLC or update, so that's all there is, just a game. But with Breath of the Wild, there's the game, then there's the update, then there's the DLC. So then when I told you make another folder for where you're going to put your games, what you'll do is you'll copy the game folder into games, and then you'll copy the, the updates and DLC into updates and DLC. And then you'll go to Simu. So let's minimize this shit and go to Simu. Alright, so move it up here. And you'll go to File, Install Game. And so, you know, we go to Galaxy Mario Galaxy 2, and then it wants the meta file. So you go to the meta folder inside the game folder. So inside, you know, the game folder you made, and then the name of the game, you know, obviously not the updated DLC folder, and then the meta folder, and then meta XML. It'll be in every single one of these games. And then you'll click yes to install it. I already, I already installed it, but I'm going to do it again. Fuck it. And then, after that's done, you'll go to file, and install game slash update slash DLC, and then you'll do the update. And then you'll do you wait until it finishes. And then you go to file and do it again, and then you'll do the DLC. It'll automatically realize that, hey, this goes to Breath of the Wild, and it'll add it to them like it did for mine. So then, yeah, next you will go to file, install, and then you'll go back, and you go to your updates and DLC folder, and then grab the update, etc. After that's done, you're going to right-click on the game, like Breath of the Wild, and you're going to click Edit Graphic Packs. Then you're going to click Download the Latest Community Graphic Packs at the bottom. There's no new ones for me. But then you go to mods. And okay, what, what do we got here? We got static FPS mod. Okay, let's click that and then make it a static fucking... Ooh, look, it tells you what display you have. What's good for your display? Okay, great. I have a 165 hertz. So don't really go over 55, 60 unless you want a ton of bugs. It actually tells you that up here. Uh, and then bugs aren't fun. So I just go 55, 165 hertz because that's what my monitor is. Boom. You check it. This is that reshade compatibility. I'll have to show you that another day. That's what gives it the RTX if you have a RTX 2080 or 3080. This does the same thing as the other FPS mod. You can only, you only need one of them, so I'll turn this one off and keep the other simple one on. And then, you know, graphics, go to resolution, uh, shadow resolution, turn all that shit on. Um, Anti-aliasing if you want. I'm going to try it right now. And then uh, 
enhancements. He has some clarity, some freaking enhanced reflections, make uh, make nicer textures, all that fun stuff. Um, and then that's it, man. Uh, you should be good otherwise. Pretty sure that's all you'll freaking need, though. And, um, yeah. Which I'm gonna call it. Uh, that's all. That's all it takes to get games. And you know, the great thing is, is they install from the official servers and all that. So you'll have them officially. And then once you're done with it, put your graphics pack on. You just close it, and then you double click to launch the game. Use something like DS4 tool if you're using a PlayStation 4 controller. The first time you're loading the game, you know, shaders will load in and load out. Like the first time you kill a guy, it might lag. But then that next time you kill any guy, it'll just it won't ever lag again. And that's because it just has to get used to the shaders and all that fun stuff. Um, it basically, once it's seen everything that can happen, it won't need to see it again. <laughs>